J Academy and this is Jamil and we are going to show you how to calculate support and confidence in this video okay so already we have been seeing this market basket transaction in the last two videos as well so we will take this transaction data and we'll try to check out what is support and what is the concept of confidence and how do we calculate those things so support let us assume that there is a relationship or there is a rule which says that x implies y so first try to understand what is the meaning of x implies y it means that whenever there is an occurrence of frequent occurrence of y there is occurrence of x or, or i can say wherever there is occurrence of x there is occurrence of y okay in the transaction so how do you find a support for this x implies y so support of x implies y is equal to sigma of x union y that means in all the transactions that you have you have x and y together in those transactions divided by the total number of transaction okay so now we take an example where the rule says that milk and diaper implies honey the meaning is that in the transaction milk and diaper wherever there is a milk and diaper there is honey as well in the transaction okay how do you find the support according to the formula we need to find the support count so this sigma is a support count right we have seen in the previous video so we need to find the support count of milk diaper and honey okay so that is what that means in how many transactions these three item appear together so let us check out we have milk milk honey and diapers so here you have diapers and honey but there is no milk we can't take this transaction so we have a milk diaper and honey so we'll take this transaction milk diaper and honey we'll take this transaction and milk diaper and there is no honey so the total number of support count will be 1 and 2 so this is 2 okay so what is the support for this so support for this will be equal to s is equal to sigma of milk diapers and honey divided by the total transaction so that is equal to 2 what is the total number of transaction that is 5 so that is 2 by 5 that is equal to 4 by 10 i'll do it so that is 0.4 or you can say if you convert into percentage so that will come up around 40% that is the support next we come across the concept of confidence okay assume we have a relation be between x implies y so that means that the frequent item set of y is present in the wherever the item set of x is there in the transaction okay so how do you find the confidence so confidence the meaning of confidence means the support count of these two item together in the transactions and divided by the support count of x in x implies y so here the formula is the confidence c of x implies y is equal to the support count of x union y divided by the support count of x right so let us check out so we have a rule where it says that milk and diaper implies honey okay so how do you find the confidence so confidence is equal to the support count of milk diaper and honey that is union divided by because this part is x if you see x implies y so y is honey and x is milk and diaper divided by those transactions where or those those support count where milk and diaper occurs together right so let us check out what is support count of milk diaper and honey 
So we can see that it is already we have found out as two and milk and diaper. Let's check out where we are having the milk and diaper. Milk and diaper is not there. Milk and diaper is not here. Milk and diaper is there, right? So that is my transaction ID three. Milk and diaper is present in transaction ID four. And milk and diaper is present in my transaction ID five. So this is how many counts? One, two, three. So that is two by three. That is equal to zero point six seven. That comes up around sixty seven percent. Okay. That's how you calculate your support and count. In the next video, I will tell you why this support and count are very very important in association analysis. Bye bye.